brought to you by Hanson Hanson's Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019 Melon Garden Part 2 So this is everything after I cool plastic here. I was really surprised that uh, plastic right here didn't freaking tear. Not one a bit of it did. I really like the idea that it pulled. Okay. All right, I've got this section of the garden empty. All the dirt is gone. All the onion, wild onions is right out of it. And next, I'll be getting started on the trellis. Setting up a trellis that will work with both cantaloupes and the watermelon. So, cantaloupes on one side. Watermelons on the other, and I will be pulling dirt from the other side of the yard. All right, and these are the trunks I have done so far. Use this one to run across. These are going to run from here all the way across here, and from here all the way across here. There's, looks like down there. And these are the poles that I'm going to be using for support. This is, these are going to be going straight up and down. And I'm debating now if I'm going to, I think I'm going to use that piece of wood off the tree. But, um, if not, I'm going to use metal poles. And this right here, too. Using that trellis. Once I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to be it, we're making it to where cantaloupes will grow on one side and watermelons will grow on the other side. Trenches are, and uh, they'll, they'll meet up the middle right at the top. And this is where we'll close it up. Okay, I got the center beams for cantaloupe slash watermelon trellis set up, and that's it right there. 
Got to fill dirt back in here. And then take these two trunk, tree trunks. Play one hit here. Step on that side. One right there. The other side. I put nine inch nails. Beans. Pull that up. I might have to use a metal pipe that I have to do for you for that. But I don't know. We'll find out. Pictures. It. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to keep this all dug out and just put dirt mounds down where the cantaloupes are going to grow. And I marked each hole. And I'm going to take and fill those spots with dirt to make a Hill or hills for each cantaloupe uh, spot. <clears throat> I'm going to pull this plastic off and do that, but I wanted to put the plastic down to the market. I wanted to get a full view of everything. But then, after I'm done with that, I'm going to put the plastic back over it and I'm going to work on the corners. Because this used to be on a flat surface, and I'm going to have it with hills and down in the ground, like over here. But this year, that's not going to have trenches. Well, maybe not. We're going to put watermelon over there. Let me get done. I just wanted to take out of everything. These are going to be on the trellis. All that, and make them more. So. Shot for a pitcher. Okay, I've got the mounds done. Now I'm going to stick over it. Okay, I've got the plastic on now. I'm going to figure out how to get all that straightened out and leveled up the side right there. In there. <clears throat> and I'll get to that later on. I just wanted to get a shot of this. What it looks like. Okay, this is the final result for this. I went ahead and used string here, intertwined uh, uh, sticks to make it a little tougher. Ran with uh, three limbs across the sides, and then I did wood going down to where the Cantaloupes grow up. Here I down to the tree. And a tree there. Over here. Some pictures. Gotta be real quick though, because this thing's running out of the battery. This was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.